say yes I, 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 I need you to do more and say less I, 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 I won't just say yes I, 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 I need you to do more and say less I thought you knew I watched Quiet on the Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, about Nickelodeon and all the abuse that happened with the kids on the set there. It's yep. four parts. And, I mean, it's harrowing stuff. And it's really, like, disturbing what ha what people, like, how unregulated these sets are and just what people do pursuing fame and what people allow to happen and uh, just how people manipulate the kids and their, and their families and stuff. It's really really sick it makes you very upset and angry and and a lot of us that grew up watching nickelodeon is really harrowing knowing like yeah. this is what people was going through and we was and, just why we didn't have no idea um, Smith and i we, we've been talking about this uh quiet on set for mm -hmm. um, a minute um and keenan thompson who was in mm -hmm. keenan and cal was interviewed this week and he said it's it's a tough subject because it's tough for me he says i can't really speak on things that i've never witnessed but you know what i'm saying because all these things happened after i left basically uh dan schneider wasn't really on keenan and kel like that i mean he got a created by credit but it was different it was a different showrunner so our worlds weren't really overlapping outside of that necessarily and then all that negativity kind of started happening outside of our tenure there and then he got emotional and he said i wasn't really aware of a lot of it but my heart goes out to anybody that's been victimized or their families and you know what i mean i mean i think it's a good thing that the doc is out and it's putting things on display that that need to be to be and you know stories that need to be told for this accountability sake but it's definitely tough to watch because i found i have fond memories of that place and i have fond memories of my co-stars and stuff like that so to hear that they're going through terrible things like that mm, okay yeah because like it's just really tough but wait a minute i just i wanted to say this um roderick and amber you know uh we've been talking about p diddy this week and um you know it's really People who are in these spaces, you know things. And we give a lot of coverage to people because they're famous or because they're rich. And we don't say things because proximity to fame and wealth might rub off. You know, we feel like through osmosis. And, and a, a lot of times we've seen other people get violated or things have happened. And I'm not saying us in the room, but on these sets, you know, and I'm, I'm glad he's speaking. But I'm hearing a lot of people say things when they knew things back then that maybe this could have been stopped. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but it feels like a bandwagon moment, but it also maybe like me too. Now it can all come out, you know, like Bill Cosby, like after the 10th person, then the floodgates are open because now you realize, okay, maybe it's safe. All right. There's 50 women now. Okay. Me too. You know, it's like at some point, maybe this is what had to happen. Well, we, we and I'm glad that safety. it's all out. We do say safety in numbers for a reason, right? Because, yeah. yeah. And it's the reason that we see these abusers normally it trickles out and then it's the floodgates open, as you said, because people are like, well, now I can tell my story. I'm the 40th person and y'all now y'all know to believe this stuff. And before, because of proximity and the power they have within those industries, a lot of times people get shut down, ostracized, kicked out and all that stuff. The other thing is abusers are very savvy, so they'll treat certain people differently because mm. like so it's like I can totally see where and I appreciate Keenan's words for this particularly because I can see why someone would be like, don't do it to him. His name's on the show. Like, don't, I, I ain't got enough power and pull. Don't. Mm -mm. And then the second that you get to the second generation of kids and you are more powerful, now you're inflicting all kinds of harms on people. And you're hoping that someone like Keenan comes in and goes, well, he never did that to me. So these kids are lying. Mm -hmm. And instead Keenan said, no, nah, I just cause I didn't experience doesn't mean it didn't happen. And I'm glad they're saying what happened because it doesn't, I'm not going to invalidate them with, hey, he never touched me. And a lot of people do that stuff. So I, I appreciate him at least having some thoughtfulness and not just knee jerk reacting and su supporting this abusive dude. Yeah, I agree with that, too. I also feel like in general, we're just in a really revelatory time. I think it's just a window of like, I don't know what it is, but everybody's like, well, we got these cameras on our phones and we got these recorders and we, you know, and I had these tapes from all these years ago. And I mean, you're seeing it not just in terms of like people being exposed for wrongdoing. You're seeing it like the Freaknik documentary. Like it's like 
we're just in a period where, you know, we are showcasing and telling stories that were previously brushed under the rug, hidden. I think a lot of those people no longer have the same level of power that they had before, or there have been enough stories in the back channels that people are like, you know, we got the TikTok generation now, so folks are ready to talk. But I feel like it's going to continue. I, wasn't it um, a, something or about the American gladiators also being super abusive? Yeah, that came out mm -hmm. too? So yeah like, that documentary was crazy. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was crazy too. Also, yeah. like another thing that's that's egging this on this year is that the statute of limitations was about to be up for people to get their last second. Like, hey, mm -hmm. if you don't say something today, you can legal you legally will have no recourse after this. And so that's what happened with the Cassie lawsuit. And then that, of course, uh, with him not wanting to pay it, it became public. And that it was so detailed. So many people were like that don't sound like somebody making something up. And then other people chime in with their stories. And I think, um, and then it's so funny because people go like, well, I don't know why he would do it. Well, you're not, a, if you're not an abusive person, you probably don't understand because you wouldn't have done that stuff in the first place. So who knows what people like that think they can get away with and why they, and how long they been getting away with stuff and just whisper campaigns ain't shutting nothing down. So, uh, you know, I know people out there think it's like a Illuminati witch hunt and stuff, but I don't know, dog. Sound like maybe some chickens are coming home to roost. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I,